situation. She let me know that when Hurricane Isaac came through the Gulf Shores down Alabama, it renewed a mystery that's been running down there for a good 50 plus years. Now it turns out, about eight miles due east of Fort Morgan, Fort Morgan having been built leading up to the Civil War and helped protect the Port of Mobile from the Union until it was taken after a two week siege, continued to serve up until the end of World War II. It was, one of the long, it was a long running fort and for a while was the largest military base in Alabama. But that's either here or there other than as a point of geographical location. You can look her up. She's rather nice and as you can see is a good looking masonry fort built out of brick and mortar. Now, as I said, about six to eight miles due east along the Gulf Coast, every time a major hurricane comes through, it shifts the sands, picks it up, redistributes it all, and either partly or mostly unveils what's just commonly known as the mystery ship. It's a ship buried in the sands that normally you just walk over top of the sand is so thick, but of course getting sucked up, it's now available. Every time this has happened, the first time being around 1968-69, researchers go down and try and figure out more about the ship. Who was she? What, who did she belong to? What was she doing? Now, originally she was thought to be the Monticello, a battleship belonging to the Confederate Navy back in the Civil War. Thing of it being, though, as you can see from some of the photos, she has all the makings and everything indicating that she was a steam powered vessel. Now, most likely still masted, such as in this illustration, at least dual masted with paddle wheels, but steam powered nonetheless. They weren't built in the Civil War, they weren't available. So, that rules that out. Okay, okay, towards the end of the Civil War, yes, the iron class and some of the vessels started developing steam power, but not on the ship of this size. It's a 150 footer. So, I couldn't meet the Monticello. This has led many folks to believe it was the Rachel, a trade and merchant vessel built in 1919 that ran aground and burst in flame there in the area sometime, sometime in the 1930-ish time frame. However, the Rachel was a 93 footer. I said, this wreck measures 150 foot. So probably not the Rachel either. Well, this has led a number of folks to believe that it's the Aurora. The Aurora was a rum runner vessel. She came up out of the Caribbean carrying rum to the U.S. during the Prohibition. So we're going to have some good and proper drinks. But the issue here now falls to, while the Aurora ran many blockades, she was eventually caught in the vicinity of Mobile Bay. Her crew, taken aboard the Coast Guard Cutter, as long as some of her cargo brought aboard, and she was being towed into port when she caught fire and was cut loose. The thing of it being, though, she only had an eight-man crew, which would make the operation of a boiler steam system virtually impossible. So, Though she's up again, hopefully they'll find something new and something to shed some new light on the mystery. As of yet, she's still the mystery ship and no one's real sure exactly who she is or where she came from. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of sharing of history and a little bit of information. I am the FTFET Grunt. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Keep your heads down.